Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, also known as Educated Mummy and I'm so pleased to see you again. Today's video is going to be a grandparents Christmas list. This is so you guys can get some ideas of what to get the grandparents for Christmas because we all know grandparents are really, really hard to buy for because usually they have everything they want already. All of the bits that I've listed don't have just one particular shop that you can get the items from, so that means that you can work with whatever budget you guys have, but I will link below all of the items that I would be purchasing for these gifts. I hope none of the grandparents are actually watching this because some of these presents we are getting for them, so if you are watching this grandparents, please switch off now. Okay, so number one present would be picture frames. As we have all been quite distant from our family this year, grandparents probably haven't seen their grandchildren as much as they want to and as much as us as parents want to because we have had zero break this year. But yeah, so you can get these really nice picture frames which are really, really big. So you can get these like really big frames that have like 52 or 32 photos in and they're usually square. I was thinking this year that we could literally just put loads of photos in there and give them to the grandparents. We've got two sets of grandparents. Usually every year we do give them the school photos and we, we obviously get them printed from the school and put them in a nice frame for them every year. But seeing as this year, I don't even think we're getting the school photo this year and it's quite sad obviously because Oscar's first year. A lovely picture frame with loads of pictures in that maybe the grandparents haven't seen and it's something for them just to have in their house so they can always look at it and because it's got so many pictures on there I feel like it takes you a long time to really see what's in there. The second thing would be a personalised poster. I did actually get one of these for Miles from a brand called Anik Doodles on Instagram. The lady who does it is absolutely amazing and she does one especially for grandparents so the one I got for Miles basically the lady sent me a list of questions about like his favourite food if he has any children if he's married asked me loads of questions about him and they basically put all of the questions into like an imagery that she hand draws herself and it's just really really amazing so I was thinking of getting one for the grandparents on Miles's one so like Miles always says like what are you looking at and she's drawn like Miles saying like what are you looking at and she's put like his favourite food shop so she's put like Miles outside Morley's and it's just really really personal and really really lovely I will link her here so you can get that framed as well so the third thing I was thinking of was a hamper so whether your grandparents like tea coffee biscuit wine in our instance one of the grandparents likes rum you can get so many different types of hampers and at so many different price points so first of all you can make your own so you could get your own hamper box from like B&M and then you can fill it with anything you want then you can go to like Marks and Spencers Fortnum and Mason do some beautiful ones as well so you can really look around for all different types of hampers so I feel like that's a really nice thing to receive and who doesn't love the hamper boxes from Fortnum and Mason I mean they're absolutely amazing you can really reuse the hamper too but, well you can't because you're giving it away but the grandparents can or you can try and nab it off of them another thing would be a flower subscription so from bloom and wild or freddie's flowers and it basically means that you can either pay for i think it's a three month six month or 12 month subscription so the christmas present is going to last all the year through basically meaning that they get a gift every month until it ends obviously okay next thing is slippers and pajamas because we all love slippers and pajamas i would go for the ugg for the slippers and for pajamas always go to marks and spencers because they're just such good quality usually you can ma mix and match so top size for the bottom size so if you're not the same on the top and the bottom and everything just washes up really well so i would always head there for dressing gowns pajamas and slippers okay a really lovely present as well for grandparents would be a locket necklace with a picture of whoever you want to put in there for us we'd probably put like the grandchildren in there because it's really personal i think as well where we've been separated for so long it'd be nice to carry around the grandchildren again you can get them from a range of places so one of my favorite ideas is actually one that i got from my presents from the kids i absolutely love things that I can look back on. And for my birthday this year, the children actually got me just like a little book from Tesco's. They basically wrote on each page something they loved about me. So some of the things were like, thank you for letting us see the world and taking us on holiday. You're always really happy. You're the best mum. You look beautiful without makeup. Like all of this stuff that they just written on each page. And it just really lovely. It's on our bookshelf. So whenever you want to like have a little pick me up, you can just like get it out and read it. And it's actually just such a nice and personal 
personal present and something you just cannot buy well you have to buy the book but i mean the bits inside are just so meaningful and it's even nicer when the children write it as well because it's just really really sweet so we're definitely going to be doing that for the grandparents this year to remind them of how special they are Okay, so another thing we were thinking about getting them is like a personalised calendar where it's got like imagery of, of the family members and you don't just have to do your own children but the other grandchildren and stuff like that. So every time you get to a new month, you're going to have a new picture, which is quite cute. And the last thing that we like the idea of for the grandparents is like a personalised mug. Obviously, I know a lot of pottery barns are closed at the moment because of COVID, but there are some shops online, and I will try and link them below, that basically your children can design their own mug. So what happens is you make your own artwork at home, then you're scanning your artwork to the computer, and then you send it to the company. They'll print it on like a mug or a plate, and they'll send it to you. So that's as well. That's a really nice idea for the grandparents to receive. I always find it harder to get the grandparents things because... I just find that they just don't actually really want anything. So those are all really nice personal presents. And that's everything that I have on my list. I hope you've enjoyed my grandparents Christmas list. And if you have not subscribed yet and you would like to, don't forget to do so. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye.